Last night, I was caught unaware by a malicious road sign. <laughs> we were driving the scenic drive, and this innocent small road sign bore the legend Fairy Falls. <laughs> and we thought that'd be nice. A little walk to some Fairy Falls. That'd be lovely, that would. So we stopped the car on the side and said, Fairy Falls. Three quarters of an hour. Well, it's not long, is it? Off we go. Lovely, windy, well-defined gravel path through the bush, through the lovely palms and the ferns. I've got these shoes on, not even my proper walking shoes, because I've just been on radio in New Zealand, and I don't know what's come up. Got there, 20 minutes later, little sign. 20 minutes to the Fairy Falls. Well, we're halfway there already, in this lovely, gentle, winding path. How long we were. <laughs> <laughs> into the abyss. The steps start going down. I'm passed by three, three joggers, all of whom are 25 years younger than me, and super fit and about fat, fat, that wine. And as they pass, they give me a pitching look. And I'm, like, I'm not that way, I'm not that way. It's only a bit of winding path. To the fairy falls. <laughs> On down into the abyss. Plunge, plunge, down we go, down we go. Mind you. For an abyss, it's got nice, well-defined steps and a lovely handrail in place, isn't it? Lovely step, <laughs> lovely handrail, until you get to the raging torrent and there's no bridge. <laughs> you spend all that time building the steps and building the handrail, and when it comes to the raging torrent, there's a bit of tree across with a bit of wood. <laughs> I still haven't seen the fairy form. I've got to go across the bit of that bit with pepper. I'm an overweight, unfit Welshman. I've got to go across the bit of wood. I'm there. I can hear the guardians of the forest mocking me. Ha 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 ha. Unfit visually impaired. Welshman, we will unmute your doom. Unmute your doom. Ha 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 ha. You and your weapon will come. Ha ha ha. Unmute your doom in your abyss. <laughs> so I get across. I'm still not at the fog. Well, I'm in the abyss. It can't be far, can it? It can't be far. So I go up more steps, down, down, down. I am not walking forward to the journey home. Oh, no, no, no. Three quarters of an hour off my bottom. I'm still going down, I'm still going down. When the young, 25 years younger than me, jogger, are coming back the other way, and they look knackered. They look out on their feet. They go, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, 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 I give them a pitying look and I think, oh my lord, if they're this knackers, what's going to happen to me? And I finally get there, and the first falls I see is about this thing. And I go, oh no, you cruel, cruel face, you can only be a little pet in the abyss, or with a poultry, or the naked jogger. Just give me a little waterfall. <laughs> And in my little bar, I went, no, Dad, he's down near the big one. And we get a huge, beautiful fall. Huge, beautiful, soothing fall. And I say, thank you, guardians of the forest, for not plunging me to my doom in the chasm. And then I think, oh, God, I've got to go back up now. Oh, no. By the time I got to the top, I was letting off more steam than a geothermic hot. And I vowed never again to be taken in by a little road sign. But I did realise why they were called the Fairy Falls. They're called the Fairy Falls because unless you've got a pair of rings on your back, you're not going to get there. <laughs> <laughs>